preface by saying how wonderful it is to be back up here. We're excited to talk to you all again. My name is Mitch Kaliza. I'm a business consultant. I've been sent to speak to Devita Healthcare's board of direct function. So dialysis is a brutal process. It's painful, it's soul-sucking, time-consuming. Any negative adjective you can think of, you can relate it to dialysis. What dialysis is, it's actually necessary if you have end-stage renal disease, which is if your kidney doesn't function, you need another outside process to facilitate that procedure. So if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, it's likely to develop into end-stage renal disease, which in turn means you need dialysis. So right now, Davida is the number two dialysis provider in the world. But I'm not happy with number two, and I don't think you guys are happy with number two either. With my plan, we can move Davida into that number one spot in the worldwide provider for dialysis treatment. We're gonna do so with a plan that increases both customer satisfaction as well as the bottom line. I want Davida to be an industry leader in the dialysis field by mainstreaming dialysis at home through a process called free flow, where you can actually dialysize yourself from the comfort of your own home. <clears throat> so let's go first about what the current dialysis process is. You wake up or whatever day you gotta go get dialysis and you drive to the clinic. Let's use Memphis for example. You drive to the clinic in Memphis, you get there, you wait for the receptionist to you know, tell you, okay, you're going to food 17 today. So you go, you sit in the chair, and you wait for a nurse to hook you up. You know, she might be busy with somebody else. So you're sitting there, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. Eventually a nurse comes, she cleans you up, hooks you up, and you're sitting there for hours. Some people get dialysized up to 15 hours a week, three days a week, five hours each time. And you don't know who you're next to. You know, every Tuesday, Muriel might be coming straight from the bingo hall, right to the dialysis center. She's reeking of cigarettes, and you have to sit next to her every week, and there's nothing you can do about it. Because you're at the dialysis center. So eventually, you know, your process is completed, and you wait for the nurse to come back, she unhooks you, she cleans you up, and you drive home. You're drained, you're depleted, and you're upset, and you're wondering, is there a better way? Is there an easier way? Well, there is. You can actually lease these dialysis machines to your patients at a cost that's not too much higher than they're already paying. So for example, we should roll this out in Memphis. At any time, the Memphis Dialysis Clinic has between 250 to 325 patients. So that's a small number, and market data shows that you can buy these in bulk, wholesale dialysis machines for $1,000. What we're going to do, or what I propose for Davida to do, not to sell these assets, but to lease them, a 0% interest lease to your clients for $62.50 a month over a 24-month period, which totals a principal of $1,500. So that's an initial revenue increase of $500 per machine. Now that's great. But why lease these machines? Why not just outright sell them? Well, here's where we get a little bit more morbid in this presentation. We are in the healthcare industry, and we do understand what happens to sick people. Sick people tend to die faster than healthy people. And how can we circumvent losing the right to that asset by simply selling it? If we lease these assets to our customers at a 0% interest lease, what happens is, you know, Dorothy, she rents a machine, and unfortunately, her time comes sooner than later. DeVito retains rights to that asset, to that dialysis machine, and retains it so DeVita can now lease these machines out to two, three, four, five different people instead of if we had just outright sold that asset and gotten that initial $500 profit there. So this really does include and capture two different revenue lines. It's one through that customer and client acquisition. You know, somebody might be at Fresenius Healthcare or another healthcare provider that provides their dialysis coverage, but their insurance does cover DeVita but they've always went to Fresenius. Their grandpa went to Fresenius. That's how they've always done it. But now they hear that you can go to DeVita and <coughs> dialysize yourself at home. That's something I could be interested in. So that's one way. But the second way to create more revenue would just be releasing these machines two, three, four, five times. And that's an untapped market in the dialysis industry and technology that already exists. So in a quick summation, I just really want to hammer that DeVita needs to become an industry leader in the dialysis providing market. And I think this would be a great way to move DeVita from that number two spot to that number one spot. Thank you.